We have received the new automatic pen laser, and I'm honestly kind of disappointed. What's up, print fam? Welcome back to the print shop. Today we're talking about the pen laser. I'm, I've got it plugged in, got it working, it's running things, but for as much money as I spent on it, I'm frustrated that it's not kind of more ready to go. I'm trying to get the placement right because it picks up the pen and engraves both sides, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on screen, but if you look at it, the alignment is way off. So when it's doing what's supposed to be a straight line, it is an angled line. And I like I'm frustrated. And half the time it doesn't spin the pen when it's supposed to. So it's like, how long did they actually run it? Because I've run it for like five, 10 minutes and it's having issues. So with having a machine custom made, I guess it's my bad because I didn't like ask these questions because I just kind of thought that they would run the machine and make sure it was straight and go through the quirks. But obviously I was wrong. So today we're gonna fix all the problems. So the premise of the laser is you put the pens in the hopper, they come through the hopper, they come through the sorter, which I have a bunch of glasses here. So it comes through here, if the clip is not on the far side, it's supposed to turn it. This one rotates it, which I'm not really sure why. Then it comes to here and it engraves it, but it also rotates it. So I feel like this is just an added step, but it engraves it and then it dumps it out the end. So, so far, kind of my frustration is the flip doesn't always work. The hopper only holds a hundred pens and you, the time wasn't spent <laughs> to, there we go. That's better to make it straight. So you can see that it angles. So now this is not a hard problem to fix. It's just a matter of aligning the head, but like, why wasn't that done? Like you can even see from the plate that it's not straight. So let's work on it, I guess. Let's show you here. So you have all the things, you can reset it. This turns the computer on, this turns the vacuum on, this turns the laser on. And then to actually start engraving, you just push start. So it runs through the process. It's gonna go super fast because the engraving is tiny. But fix it up. and pops it out the end. So this one, this pen should flip. It may or may not. So we're gonna find out. It's also way slower than I expected it to be. See, it didn't flip. It should have flipped. Now it's gonna throw an error because it's gonna freak out. So I finally got the thing aligned. It was a pain in the butt. I didn't realize though that with using the marking the way that it does to spin it, it uses the center of the software in order to like align it. So I had to actually recenter it a second time because I didn't center it with the center of the software. So all of a sudden when it lifted it up to move it, it was engraving in the wrong spot because I had moved the center. So it is still crooked according to the tower, but it is at least centered and working. So one of these pens is from the old laser and one of them is from the new laser. So it is working. We've got it dialed at least the settings so that it looks the same. I centered it a little better than I actually did before, so it's actually one millimeter farther that direction, which makes it more centered. And I'm going to now, because it's gonna be more consistent, be able to offer a slightly larger engravable area. Overall, I am happy and this will save time, but I am also not happy and need to talk to a company that made it for me because it doesn't work all the time. And what I mean by that is mainly the hopper setup, I don't feel that they tested it enough because one, it doesn't turn all the pens. Two, 
it gets stuck. There's a lot of grease on it that hopefully I can just clean off. And hopefully it's not something that's required because I don't want the pens to get dirty. Overall, I'm happy. I'm gonna run it. Still keeping the old laser. I need that for backup and if this doesn't work, but at least as of this moment, I probably will not buy a second one from them. But I haven't run it. I haven't used it. I'm gonna figure out a few more quirks and then we'll wrap up the video. I'm gonna run the first job on the laser. I'm gonna time how long it takes. This is just a single-sided pen order. It's 150 pieces. So here's hoping that it's worth it. Roughly about 100 pieces, single-sided, usually takes about 30 minutes on the old fiber laser and we're having to babysit it all the time. I'm hoping that it's significantly less time. The job just finished running. It took about 47 minutes to do 150 pens. It's not really faster than the other machine. The advantage that it has is it's unattended. Now it did fail a few times. One, it did not recover from. Everything else, it didn't necessarily recover, but it beeped. So it's got the light tower here. It did beep to let the operator know, aka me and or Taylor, that there's an error. So basically each station does something. So the first station is supposed to flip it. If it doesn't flip it, then the second station detects the clip. And if it doesn't detect the clip, then it errors out. If it still, for some reason, detects it and it keeps moving on to the engrave station, the engrave station also detects the clip. And if it's not on the right side, then it errors out. That way you can fix it. The only error that it did not recover from is you've got the two Vs that hold pens. And there was one between two pens on the top and it did not recover from that. So um, it did shoot one pen down below, which I had to retrieve. With the 150 pens, there were seven errors. So that kind of sucks, but hopefully I'll be able to work with the manufacturer to get some of these things worked out. Overall, with ordering this thing in February, I'm disappointed. I know I said that already, I probably won't order another one. We'll see how the manufacturer goes with kind of resolving some of these issues. Let me know what questions you have. See you in the next one.